Yes, all right. There we go. Thank you. Song that says this: Our God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Come on, our God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, say, my God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, if you believe it, lift your voice and say, My awesome. Come on, if you know he's awesome, say it. Awesome. Come on and lift your voice. Awesome. 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 My God. My God awesome. Come on and testify. Awesome. Awesome. If you believe it, say it. Awesome. Come on and say it. Think about it. Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. By his stripes, I'm here. My God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Somebody ought to praise his holy name. Come on and testify. You know he's awesome. Say it. Come on and lift your voice and say, Awesome. Awesome. Come on and say, Awesome. Awesome. My God. My God. Awesome. Come on and say, Awesome. Awesome. Come on, if you believe it, lift your voice.
praise His holy name. Somebody ought to celebrate the awesome God. I don't know about your God, but my God is an awesome God. He moved so many mountains in my life, helped me walk me through the valley so I can raise my hand today and shout and tell you without hesitation or reservation that my God is an awesome God. I have one of you out there who just raise your hand and testify today and said that my God is an awesome God. Thank you, Brother Stanley. Thank you, Brother Stanley. Thank God for those of you today who have tuned in. Bless you. Bless you. I want today, um, by the help of the Lord and the aid of the Holy Spirit to talk to us today about something that I believe is important or should be important to each of us found in Paul's letter to the church at Philippi. Philippi being one of those groups of people that was kind to Brother Paul. He said they helped him once and once again. He supported him in his ministry and I'm he writes this note to them, chapter four. Chapter four, Philippians chapter four. <clears throat> They're gonna begin in verse four, kind of saying what we just said here. Verse four, chapter four. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be made known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Let me try to talk to us a few minutes about a mind, or a Christian mind, or a Christ-like mind to live by. Let me confess and be real to myself about me. I'm learning one of the most valuable assets that belong to mankind is a sane Christian mind to live by. And that really says this, Dale, but just like you need a sane Christian, and that means some of us got a mind. And it's not a sane Christian mind. I really don't want to embark upon this too long, but January the 6th, 2021, showed the kind of mind that was in some persons more than. 150 million people voted, and some 80 some million of those people voted for another person. But there was one person that had a mind, still haven't come to conclusions yet, that I lost the election and was in your mind. 
will show up your in your action and your deed. Amen. Somebody listening to me today, uh, you know you ain't quite where you ought to be, and it's all the cause of what's going on in your mind. Can I get a witness here? Your mind, your mind, your mind got a lot to do with, with you and where you stand uh, with the Lord God Almighty. A mind that can be applied to thoughts and ideals to live by. In fact, I'm learning that a person's mind is Can I get a witness here? I don't care how you put on hell, but your mind really is you. And you really can't do too much more than your mind will allow you to be. It all depends upon what's going on in your mind and what you allow your mind, or what you allow to linger in your mind. That's right now. I know this is right. 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 Did you ever meet somebody, people, who had bad poison minds and they all they talked about what I heard and they said, poison minds. Yeah. And they love to dwell on negative stuff rather than dwell on positive stuff. I heard and they said, and do you know all of that stuff? A person mind can keep him or her slaves to sin or with your mind, you would want to become a saint. God Almighty, it's all depending upon what you allow to go on in your mind. Paul writes in Philippians 2, 5, which says, let this mind be in you that was in so also in Christ Jesus, who thought it not remember to be equal with him. God have highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. I've learned, taking me some time to get there, but one can only do what his mind orders and demands him to do. That's right. That's how come some of us, please forgive me, are the scampest, stingiest, so-called Christian that we are is in our mind. It is all in our mind. Proverbs 3, 7 says, as a person thinketh, your mind is you. Amen. If you think little, you go become a little person. If you think evil, you go become an evil-minded person. If you think righteous, You'll work on yourself to be a righteous person. And you want to be a child of God. Hallelujah, you can be it. Because it all depends upon what goes on in your mind. I ought to have one or two people out there who listen to me today. Listen. The downfall 
of most people. We allow too much junk to crowd our minds. Amen, lightning. Too many evil thoughts running around in our mind about our brothers and sisters in Christ. Do you not know, don't you understand your mind is you. And your mind is always moving, thinking in one direction or another. I almost don't like to admit it. But some of us, God Almighty, who have our name on the church's road. Woo! We think more evil than we do good. I'm talking to somebody, and I know I'm talking to somebody. You ain't never, you don't never have nothing good to say about people. Always something negative. Let me remind you today that we need Christ's mind in us in these evil times. We need a Christian mind in these last and peerless days to live by, where every time you turn to them, you see something evil about, they have almost stopped talking about the good folk do, it's just all the time bad in your mind. One must have a Christ-centered mind. And Paul is simply saying that when he writes, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. I can hear Brother Paul saying in verse eight, Finally, there will come some finalists in your life. What's the other things are true? What's the other things are honest? What's the other things are just? What's the other things are lovely? What's the other things are good report? If there be any virtue, and if there be any praises, Think on these things. And he says in verse four, rejoice. Rejoice. As Brother Paul writes this note to the church of Philippi, he wanted or wants the church to lift their minds on food for thought. I think positive and not naked. In fact, in this beautiful pattern, the apostle seemed to be trying to turn the people's mind to the great possibility of Christian living, to allow the things to be able to become focused in their mind. Gay, can't you hear him saying, in Romans 8, or Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beg of you, therefore, brethren, that's brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reason. And be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye renewed. But and if your mind don't change, I don't care nothing about you folding your hands and hollering hallelujah, but if your mind ain't changed, you feel that person you once were. Lift your mind, my brothers and the sisters, and I can hear <laughs> 
This same writer in Galatians 6 3 says, But man figures himself to be something when he's nothing. <laughs> Woo! You're fooling yourself. You got too many for fooling themselves. Search your mind for God's purpose in your mind. And I can hear the Apostle Paul say, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I'm just wondering where to be, where do some of us stand? Sound mind, thoughts, serves as wings on which human imagination move from place to place. Thoughts in the mind is a medium by which we get sight on the divine things of God. In fact, I can hear David say in Psalm 55, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. Then would I fly away and be at rest. And you hear Brother Paul saying, finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. My brothers and sisters, let us for a moment take a deeper look into what Brother Paul has to say about the Christian mind to live by. I want you to know that is it important to have a Christ-like or Christian mind of mind that learn how a love to be true to itself? First step in becoming a true mind is we're going to have to learn how to be true. God's true need to learn the truth. Jesus says in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth. God Almighty, the truth will set or make you free. The truth will allow it, will, will agree with the realities of God and will conform to the standard of righteousness. In spite of the opposing force with darkness, Truth will shine. Proverbs 16, 25 said, there is a way God Almighty that seem right unto man. I'm trying to help somebody, listen. I know we have been, been in church for a while and there is a way that seem is right to a man, but the ways there are. Woo. They are ways of destruction. So therefore, whatsoever things are honest, these things hold in respect, showing fairness, sincerely, walking free from deceit, and being the kind of person God Almighty, that we ought to be. We need to learn to be honest. Join the meeting. By nature, I wish I had somebody listening to me. You don't like that admit it, but you are evil and nasty by nature. Sometimes you need to just watch your children. 
and especially they got a sister brother, they become so selfish. By nature, they are selfish and don't and don't go around here talking about my child don't lie. That's the biggest lie that you ever told. Your child will lie to you looking right straight in your eyes and pretending that my mom used to say, look at my eyes, boy. <laughs> Amen. And I need to do the same thing as pastor preacher sometimes. Tell y'all, instead of looking off, look me in my eyes <laughs> and tell me and them lies. Person ought to learn to be honest. If you want to grow, be honest. If you want God's word and God's blessing, be honest. Whatever things are just and upright, be honest. Well founded, in spite of God Almighty, yes, it matters not who decide to be dishonest. You just be just. And walk humbly with God. Psalm 37 says to us, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thine envious against workers of a negative for they shall soon be cut down like the green grass and wither like the green. Earth. Trust in the Lord. You have to learn how to do that. What's your things um uh of pure, free from everything that will keep you from putting your all on the altar of God. Can't you hear the voice of Paul echoing down to the cause of time in Romans chapter 8? Saying, Who of what shall separate us from the love of God? I ain't going to let trouble do it. Yeah, I'm not going to let tribulation do it. I've decided I'm going to hold on. God Almighty to God's unchanging hand. Do I have one or two out there will just wave your hand and say, I made up my mind. I'm going to hold on to, to God's unchanging hand. So whatsoever things are lovely. And what's the real things are a good report. If God Almighty there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, as a yeah, think on these things. Uh, these are things, uh, ideas uh, in the mind of a Christian that, that we need to learn how to live by. No wonder Brother Paul was shouted in. Chapter 3, verse 14, can't you hear him saying, I press toward the prize or the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus, my Lord. I'm glad that we have uh, some ideas, or we don't have some ideas to live by. Yes, and we need to strain for the prize uh, to go on for what? would be the need of reaching in if there was nothing to reach for. God Almighty, I'm glad that God has so fixed it that, that the effort, yeah, of life's reward by our standing and living uh, that quiet when I get through over on uh, this side of meeting my name uh, on the wings of the morning. Uh, I'm going to go home, uh, yes, sir, uh, to get my crown uh, over there. Yeah, where the first wheel don't roll uh, over there, where it shall be always howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. That's why I'm going to keep on striving, uh, keep on praying. Uh, Keep on yeah, waiting on him, uh, yes, sir, who, who, who was able to deliver us from this world of sin. I fight up my mind that I'm going to try to have a Christian mind to live by every now and then. Uh, we need to re be reminded that God Almighty, this 
old world uh, is not our home and that we're strangers uh, traveling to another land. Uh, God Almighty, we need to set our mind uh, on the sure portion giant and walk on up, uh, God Almighty, the Queen's Highway. We used to sing a song, don't say no more, but I'm walking uh, up the King's uh, Highway, uh, trusting Jesus uh, every, every day. Uh, yes, uh, looking unto him who is the author and the finisher of our faith, uh, who for the joy that were set before him uh, endured the cross, uh, despised the shame, and now sent down on the right hand of God, went to Calvary, that he died, uh, but he wouldn't see dead, uh, died right uh, on a Thursday morning. Something unforgettable happened. Uh, the grave couldn't hold him. Uh, he got up out of a dusty grave uh, and declared, All power is in my hand. Uh, caught a cloud and went back home to his father in heaven. Uh, yes, sir, died, but he wouldn't have stayed there. So I'm going to keep on singing. Some glad morning uh, when this life is over, when I Get through down here, yeah, immediately my name on the wings of the morning. When I get through, blowing out my breath behind uh, the sacred death, trying to tell you that it is important to have a Christian mind to live by. I'm going home to live with him who died, wouldn't stay dead. One day in the Year 1955, he rose in my life. Give me another determination. Change, I don't know about you, but my wicked ways. He start trying to learn how to live a Christian life. And let me just throw this in, won't cost you nothing. You ain't going to let it in one day. There are going to be some ups and there are going to be some downs. There are going to be some hard times. And some of your so-called list of friends are going to leave you. Amen. But just remember, let this mind be in you. Amen. Thinking about a song had a friend going on across the river named Lud Flanagan. I used to love to hear him say it. Have I given anything? Today, have I helped some needy soul along the way from the dawn to the setting sun? Have I wounded anyone? Shall I reap? I've done, oh Lord, today, oh today, oh today, oh today, Lord, today, have I helped some needy soul along the way? Just to know I've done my best as I go home. I want to take my rest, shall my name be with the blessed. Oh, Lord, today, oh, today. Oh, today, oh, today, Lord, today, 
have I helped some needed one along the way from the dawn to the setting sun? Have I wounded anyone? Shall I reap for what I've done? Oh Lord, today there just might be someone listening who've been fighting with yourself about a mind, Christian mind to live by. Let me tell you, all you've got to do today is remember Romans 5, 8. Paul said that God has committed his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. John says in John 3, 17, for God said, not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Can't you hear Paul said in Romans 10, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 1021 says, all day long, I'm standing without a fence on to a gang saying, disobedient people. Bless us today with that. One today, we're listening, don't know the Lord in the part of your sin. Oh, you've got to do a thief with it. If you can believe it in your heart and confess it with your mouth, you can be saved. Not no church member, you can be saved today that you're going to have a Christian mind or Christ-like mind to live by. Thank God for each of us today. Amen. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Certainly, 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 Lord. Oh, you must have that old time religion make you want to shout sometime. You must have that old time religion make you want to cry sometime. You got to walk right. You got to talk right. You got to live right. You got to pray right. Certainly, 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 Lord. Thank you so kindly. Let me ask us again to please be kind. Uh, even though we're not in the building, we still need you. In your tithes. Offerings, Minister Raisin Baptist Church, Post Office Box 3702, Shreveport, Louisiana 71133. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being so kind. God bless you. Give a smile upon you. And if I sound like I was fussing, I don't mean it. I was just trying to get our, give our attention sometime. And I've been this color a long time to know. Sometimes you got to speak in another tone of voice. That's right, Gay, to get us to hear what we're saying. You got to speak in another tone of voice. My mother used to say sometimes, <laughs> she not not in your mama, then my mother knew my mother used to hit me sometimes a backhanded lick. And I said, Didn't you hear what I said, boy? Well, <laughs> she got my attention. So <laughs> I'm trying to hit us that backhanded lick to get, to get our attention that we need to straighten up. That's right. Thank you. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. I'm going to tell y'all like what he told me a few weeks ago. I love you. 
Ain't nothing you can do about it. And if you don't love me, that's your problem. That is not my problem. Amen. I am loving my heart for each and every one of us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you, Pastor. That's a Thank you. Wonderful word, Pastor. Yeah, it is. Wonderful word. Oh. Love huh? you. Love you, family. Bless Love you. you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless us. God bless us. Give us a smile upon us. God willing, see us this week. Love you, Pastor. I see you. Here. Hey, baby. Okay. That time you woke up. <laughs> Shut up. Damn. I appreciate that. Yeah, you <laughs>